Ah, what's this? Taming of the Shrew. By William Shakespeare. Wait a second. Let's spice this up a little bit, why don't we? Let's let's make this Sonny the Scot. Because because everyone loves a good Scot. And forget William Shakespeare. We're gonna put my name in here, because who doesn't love John Lacey? Let me just ask you that. Haha, <laughs> John Lacey. Oh, that's me. So, let's see. We have the setting. Yes. Set in Padua. Where is that? Oh my gosh, isn't that like a high school in Seattle, Washington? Where people like Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles and Joseph Gordon Levitt go to school? Um, no. Padua is actually located in Italy, right there. But, you know, Italy's kind of boring, so let's go ahead and move this entire play to, oh, I don't know, let's say London, because London is the best, and I just know that audience members will love it. Now let's look at this cast that Shakespeare's written up, see what improvements I can make. We have Vincentio, Vincentio, Petruchio, Hortensio, Gremio, Grumio, Tranio, Curtis, Biandello, Baptista, Bianca, Katarina, Nathaniel, Joseph, Philip Peter, Sir Christopher Sly, a widow, a tailor, a lord, a tailor, and extra servants. Hmm, well, let's see. We have Lucentio, who's the son of Vincentio, but I'm going to change Vincentio to, I don't know, how about Sir Lionel Winlove? Yes, I like that, which would make Vin Lucentio young Winlove. Whose love is he going to win but none other than the absolutely gorgeous Bianca? Sorry, would love to burst your bubble, but you're not the only one pursuing her. Bianca is also being pursued by Hortensio, who we're going to change to Geraldo. And his buddy Gremio is also after her, who we're going to change to wooed all, because it seemed that he wooed all the women and ended up with no one. Then we have Baptista, who is going to be Lord Beaufoy. He's the father of Katarina and Bianca Katarina. What a piece. She's a dominating monstrosity of a woman who who likes to, to combine both masculine and feminine elements in a paradoxic masquerade of gender, kind of like Margaret Cavendish, anyone? So her name's got to be Margaret, and we're going to make her extra aggressive and violent, just because we can. She's being pursued by Petruchio. We'll keep his name the same, and we're also gonna amp up his aggressive, violent behavior just to, you know, spice things up a little bit. Then we have Tranio, the servant of young Will Winlove, and there's Curtis, his other servant. We'll keep them. And then there's a widow, and Sir Christopher Sly, who, because of his character, is going to be deleted. Then we have Nicholas, Peter, Nathaniel, Philip. Joseph, and we're going to keep those the same, except Nicholas is going to become just Nick. Then we have Grumio, who sounds like Grumio, and he's a servant of Petruchio, so we're going to name him Sonny. Sonny the Scot. And we're going to make him look Scottish, and he's going to join the ranks of other great Scots, like Braveheart and Sean Connery, and we're going to make him smelly and barbaric and grotesque, because who doesn't love a smelly, gar barbaric, grotesque Scot? Now, let's look at the play itself. So, the majority of the script is written in verse, which is all fine and dandy, but tends to be a little lofty and hard for people to understand, so we're going to change it. Excuse me, young sir. Change it. Yes, you. Ah, uh, much better. Prose. We'll have the entire thing written in prose, so people will like it more. Then we have the problem of the induction. 
no, not the introduction, the induction. Thank you very much. For those of you who don't know what this is, it has to deal with this man, Sir Christopher Sly, who was the town drunkard. And at the beginning of the play, some people find him passed out drunk, and they trick him into thinking that he's a lord, and this entire production is being put on for him. Well, this creates a confusing play within a play kind of frame idea, and audience members don't know what to think, so we're just going to delete the entire thing and get on to more important matters. Like Petruchio and Geraldo meeting for the first time. We're going to have Sonny in there, and then Sonny and Petruchio's relationship is going to become center stage. Even when Petruchio is trying to tame Katarina, we're going to have Sonny in there the entire time commenting on what's going on, and and he's going to take importance over Katarina. She'll just be put in the background, but you know what? You've got to do what you've got to do. The name will William Shakespeare just isn't going to bring people into the theater anymore. The name John Lacey will. So if I have to turn the only clown in a play into the main star, well, so be it. I am a comedic actor, and we need to amp up my my talents. And I'm thinking we're going to have him commenting on everything, making asides, building a relationship with the audience, kind of like a Greek chorus. Except he'll be more entertaining than the Greek chorus in their crazy masks. Chorus. Music. I know what we need. We need a dance. That's what we'll have. We'll have Sonny doing a vulgar little Scottish jig at the end of the play. Because who doesn't love a vulgar little Scottish jig? Dance, little Scottish man, dance. Yes, I, I think this will be it. 